Good morning guys, what's going on? Today I'm fishing on this beautiful brand new 26 Twin V and today's supposed to be a beautiful calm day but this is actually the second time we're fishing on this boat and the first time it was actually really rough and I was blown away with how well this boat rides. So I'm super excited to go out fishing again on it today. So today's video is sponsored by the Boathouse Marine Center in Pompano Beach, Florida. They are a certified dealer of these Twin V boats as well as a full service marine center and a storage facility. So if you guys are looking for a brand new boat or if you're looking for some service or storage for your boat, don't hesitate to give them a call. I will have their information all linked in the description. And today our plan is to do some bottom fishing. We got Victor behind the camera, Matt's the captain of the day, and he brought his mom Anne along too, so let's get to fishing. All right guys, first fish of the day. We are anchored, we got our chum out, we got some chum going out, we also have some little sardines, and I'm using a chunk of ballyhoo for bait. We're hoping to get some ballyhoo in our chum slick, but Right now we got a lot of birds and if there were any ballyhoo they'd be scaring them away. But we did bring some frozen ballyhoo so we have those. And we'll see what we got. That thing is digging. I'm just using a little tiny baby yellowtail jig. So don't want to put too much pressure on this guy. And only... It's a porgy. Looks like a, a trigger fish. Nice. Nice. Good job, babe. Gorgeous. Nice. Heck yeah. That's why he was coming up kind of weird. Cute. Oh, I love these fish. These guys are super pretty when they're a little like this. They got these long tracers, but once they get bigger, they lose the long tracers. But when they're little, they are so pretty. And these are actually really good eating too, but this guy's too small to keep. Very there cool. he goes. Cool first fish. This is so tiny. What do you got? Uh, a little mutton. A little snapper. He's a little tiny baby. Little mutton. Good job. But it's not exactly. There you go. Then we need to find his big brother. All right, got another fish on. I'm thinking it's gonna be a blue runner. We're looking for those yellow tails, but they haven't showed up yet. Throw them in this bucket. Yeah. A little blue runner. It's a blue runner, I think. Or is it a little? Oh, a little bonita. Oh yeah. There we go. We can keep that for bait. Bleeder. Good job. Thanks. Now we got some good bait. What'd you get, Matt? I got our little red grouper. Nice little fire truck. Alright, we got some good. Either I'm thinking another blue runner. We have yet to catch our targeted yellowtail, but here it comes. Yeah, there Woo! it is. Alright. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. That's a, there that's we a go. keeper. This is what we are after today. These yellow tails, they have to be 12 inches to keep. This guy might be like 14. And these are very delicious. So this guy's going in the cooler. First fish in the cooler. Oh, we're on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm filming for Brooke and barely had time to set the hook. Mm -hmm. Looks like a, oh, it's a mutton. mutton. It's a little mutton. Oh, is that big enough? No, this guy is probably... 16 maybe? No, like 14 inches. This guy's gotta go back. Here we're anchored in like 75, 80 feet of water. There's actually a giant school of blue runners under the boat. Yeah. There we go, Matt got a yellow tail. Yep. Oh yeah. Second keeper yellow tail of the day. Rick got a yellow tail. Oh, must have swam through. Made it through the blue runners and trigger fish and got a yellowtail. As long as it's not another trigger fish. Oh, you were right, another grouper. Another little red grouper. 
Their eyes are so cool. So we got a little yellowtail jig and a chunk of ballyhoo. And we're just casting these out and just letting them drift in the current. Not a lot of current though, so our baits are kind of going straight down. And just constantly feeding out my line until I get a bite. Look, they're slaying the triggerfish. Man, you just can't stay away from those things, can you? Another one? I didn't even make it down. Is that number four or five trigger fish for you? Yeah. Ooh, you there we go. For me. Got some dinner. That's a keeper. All right. Great. They're out there. You just got to get through all the other fish. Oh, that worked. <laughs> we cannot stay away from these guys. They follow every single one of our baits that we throw in the water. All right guys, so we were switching up what we were doing. Bottom fishing got a little slow, so we decided to move out to a wreck. And Victor's dropping down a gog, and then Matt and Ann also have some jigs, and they're doing a little bit of vertical jigging. Hopefully we can catch something here. We got a lot going on. Let's see it, ladies and gentlemen. Vic's cutting down another gog. There you go, Vic. That's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. There you go. What do we got? I see color. Long. Is it? Long and skinny. Like uh, Barracuda. Oh, yeah. At least you got something big. Yeah. We got something to pull. Want me to handle them on my leader? Sure. So this is our fourth drop down with a, a gog. We got two cut off and then Victor caught a big barracuda on the other one. So hopefully we get something that we can actually eat on this next drop. There's something. Like hooked up again. Oh, skinny Long again. Skinny. Oh, it's green and skinny. Barracuda. barracuda. Yep. Smaller this time. It's kind of just like the luck of the draw. Not by much. Whoa, that one shot off. Come on. Oh. Oh. Heartbreaker. Don't be a Kuda, please. Oh, wow. Let's see. Yeah. And the hook definitely was. Definitely had a bite. The hook was turned in. What Another Kuda. <laughs> it's a Barracuda. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That was the smallest of the three so far today. Circle hooks are doing work today. Good job. Perfect release. All right, guys, so we switched it up again from fishing the wreck to doing some um, bottom fishing, drift fishing in 190 feet of water. And we got chicken rigs on with chunks of that ballyhoo that we caught earlier. And I gotta bite up something. We're going for vermilion snappers. So we'll see. Catch me dinner, babe. Let's go. Oh, it is a vermilion. That's Target's, what we're after. Target species acquired. <laughs> that we ran into a good school of them. <gasps> no, it just fell off! No! Bro. Did you see that? Yes! I'm watching him swim away. Alright, we gotta get back down there. All right, this one actually made it into the boat. There we go, a little vermilion. Good job. Are we doubled up? We're doubled up. I got a reef. All right, so Vic's got one, I got one. This time I'm actually gonna get this one in the boat. <laughs> yeah, Brooke's first one, she lost. That's a good size trigger. Oh, I got a mine. Oh, really? Oh, found a spot. And got the actual targeted species over there. A nice size vermilion. Ooh! It's trying to get away. Got something. Not sure what it is yet, but got something. 
The yellowtail? Oh no. Sand tile. Is that the, the second or third today? Second. Second? If we were gonna do a catch and cook with these, today would have been the day. Can I see the pliers, please? These guys are pretty too, though. Yeah. Look at that yellow. There we go. Oh, he was cold <laughs> from being yeah. so deep. Scorpion fish. Don't touch him. Is that a, is that, I'm sorry, is that a lionfish? No. That's a fish you do not want to touch. Another species of bad coolest. Yeah. Have you ever touched one, Matt? No. Have you? No. No way. <laughs> All right, so we are back home at the dock. We had an awesome day offshore. We ended up catching so many different species. And I'm actually going to cook up these snappers and this porgy for you guys. But first, we're gonna do a little overview of the 26 Twin V, and then I will meet you back in the kitchen for catch and cook, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are back here at the dock, and I have Roger here, who is a salesman at the Boathouse Marine Center, and we're gonna go over some details about this Twin V boat. First thing. This is a catamaran boat, and what is the main advantage of a catamaran versus like a regular V-haul boat? The cat hulls are definitely more stable than a V-haul. When you stand on the sides, they don't lean. They ride on kind of a cushion of air. A lot of people that get seasick definitely like the cat ride because it doesn't give you that rocking sensation like most boats do. They're great to fish off of, dive off of. Families love them, women love them because of the ride. So what kind of engines we have for on this boat? This has a twin 150 Suzuki's. People love these things for their reliability, their fuel economy. This one's equipped with the large ladder. It makes it very easy to get in and out when you're diving, snorkeling. I know when my dad was looking for boats, he really had his eye on this boat because he loves diving. And that ladder right there is absolutely awesome. It's like a ladder you'd have in like your pool coming up, which most boats do not have a ladder like that. So that's pretty cool. So this boat has seating in the front and in the back, but the other style, the, the Go Fish has no back seat and it has a large fish box here. This one has the live well here with no fish box. This one has the fish box up in the front as well. So we have the live well here, a nice good sized live well. Keep all your bait happy. We got six extra rod holders here. The boat comes equipped with six on the sides. And then you have extra storage on the side of the gunnel for another six rods, three on each side. Yes, yeah, and more rod holders could be added, obviously, depending on your situation. So we got two nice, comfortable helm seats here. The knee roll goes down, and then you also have a footstool here under the seat. This is one we did a custom electronics package in. This is Garmin equipment with a Fusion stereo amplifier and JL speakers. Most of them come a blank slate so we can add any equipment you guys would like. Forward here it has an enclosed head. The boat comes with this Ingle cooler with a nice seating up here and then you got a fish box up here with more seating on top. Nice size fish box. This one's equipped with a windlass. It makes it easy when you're at the inlet. You want to press a button, anchor will drop. Definitely makes life a lot easier when you're by yourself. It has some storage on both sides. This one comes equipped with the upgraded hardtop with LED lighting, white powder coat. You can get this raw or powder coated. Um, a lot of people like these tops. It gives a good amount of shade. It has an enclosed box up here for electronics as well. All right, so that was just some details on this boat. And if you guys have any questions, I will have all the information for the boathouse and for this boat linked down in the description. And if you guys are in the market for a boat, Roger's actually been a family friend of ours for a really long time, and he's a salesman here. So definitely don't be afraid to give him a call. And like I said, everything will be linked in the description. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight I'm making a blackened snapper lettuce wrap with avocado cream sauce and corn salsa and then I'm serving it with black beans and rice and tortilla chips on the side so let's get to cooking so the first thing I'm going to start with is our roasted corn salsa I took one can of corn strained out the water and added it to a skillet with some olive oil and salt I left these on medium heat for about 10 minutes till they became a nice toasty brown while the corn was browning I started cutting six medium tomatoes Next, I chopped half of a red onion and added that to my bowl. I finally chopped some fresh cilantro and also added that to the bowl. And lastly, I added my roasted corn. I squeezed the juice from half a lime and seasoned with salt. I mixed that up and boy did all those fresh ingredients smell great together. I put this in the fridge to stay cool while I moved on to making my avocado cream sauce.
first thing we need for our sauce is a nice ripe avocado. I actually wished I had had another half of an avocado, but I still made it work. I squeezed in the juice from the other half of the lime that we used for the salsa. Next we're going to use a big scoop of sour cream, then the full cup of a plain Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt is a healthier choice than using all sour cream. Now I also ended up adding two tablespoons of mayonnaise to give it a little flavor that I thought it was missing. I added some salt as well as two cloves of garlic and blended it all together. It should end up having a nice fluffy consistency. I also put these in the fridge to stay cool while I then worked on my fish fillets. I cut each fillet in half along the bloodline. These thin snapper fillets normally fall apart while cooking so I wasn't too worried about their size. If you've ever watched me cook before you know how much I love this blackened redfish magic seasoning which I use to coat both sides of the fish in. I had a skillet on medium high heat warming up to which I added some olive oil and then some butter. I added my fillets which did not take very long to cook because of how thin they were. Once they browned on one side, I flipped them over to brown the other side, then removed them from the pan. I wish you were here to smell how great these fillets are. Blackening may be a very simple way to cook fish, but I've never met a fish that didn't taste delicious in a butter and blackening seasoning bath. Now for the fun part. I tried to find the biggest lettuce leaves I could find in the store for these wraps. I also wanted a nice crisp, fresh, crunchy leaf. These were perfect. I started with a nice layer of the avocado cream sauce, followed by a layer of fish, and topped with our roasted corn salsa. I also served it with just some simple black beans and white rice. Now how delicious does that look? A pretty simple but delicious recipe. I highly recommend giving these wraps a try and switching up your normal taco routine. I promise you won't regret it. We had an amazing day on the boat caught a ton of different species, and luckily got to also bring home dinner for the family. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.